This morning, new allegations in the case of Corey Richens, the Utah mother accused of killing her husband, Eric, by poisoning him with fentanyl, then writing a children's book on dealing with grief. Investigators now claim Richens may have had help from her mother, Lisa Darden. Darden spoke about the case late last year and claimed Eric may have accidentally overdosed on his own. I believe Eric may have gotten pain pills and didn't realize that they had fentanyl in them. Um, if you knew Corey, she would never, ever do this, not only to Eric, but to those boys. Newly unsealed documents reveal Lisa Darden was living with a woman back in 2006 who also died suddenly from an overdose. Investigators now say based on Lisa Darden's proximity to her partner's suspicious overdose death, it is possible she was involved in planning and orchestrating Eric's death. Corey Richens' attorney responded, saying the fact that Ms. Darden's significant other was one of the millions that suffered from and ultimately succumbed to opioid addiction is hardly suspicious. It is tragic and unfortunately quite common. But the similarities may go beyond overdoses. Investigators say Darden benefited from her partner's life insurance policy, just like Richens allegedly tried to do when investigators say she changed Eric's life insurance policy months before his death. Richens has pleaded not guilty to all charges. Her attorney also defending Richens' mother, saying the fact that Ms. Darden was the beneficiary of her romantic partner's life insurance policy is also not unique. It only demonstrates that her circumstances are no different than most families in America. Richens is due in court today in a separate case accused of assaulting her sister-in-law. As for Richens' mother, she has not been charged with any crime. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.